welcome to the Created New Art Show. I'm your host, Ben. This is my art show, where we learn and explore through art. I love art because I get to be creative and discover more about God, the ultimate creator. On today's episode, we're going to hear all about how the world and everything in it was created. I love watching artists bring stories to life through illustration. Let's start at the very beginning. It's hard to imagine what it was like before God made everything. God hadn't made the land, or the stars, or the plants, or the people, or anything really. It was all just empty, kind of like a blank canvas. God saw this big, empty nothing, and he began creating some amazing things. On day one, God created light and dark. He said the famous words, let there be light. And his words were so powerful that he said it and it happened. This is how we have days and nights. God looked at it all and said, it was good. On day two, he divided the sky from the earth and God said, it was good. On day three, God divided the land and the water and he covered the land with all kinds of cool plants. Plants like tall trees, grass, flowers. Imagine how boring the earth was before plants, but God wasn't done making good things. On day four, God filled the sky with everything you can see at night. Stars, planets, comets, and the sun, which is up during the day. And he said they were good too. Day five was the day God made birds in the sky and also fish and everything that lives in the water. Imagine the ocean before fish, just lots and lots of water. And then whales and sharks and jellyfish and electric eels. And God said it was good. On day six, God made all the animals of the land. Think of everything you see at a zoo or on a farm or in a forest or in a jungle. He created all of that. Animals that are furry or scaly, animals that can climb really high or run really fast, animals as small as insects or as big as elephants. And God called the animals good. And then he made something extra special. He made people, a man and a woman. He gave them the important job of watching over the world and everything he created. He made people, that's us, in his image, which means we are kind of like him, not that we are perfect or all powerful, but we are a reflection of God and show what he is like. The man was called Adam and the woman, Eve. God created a perfect garden for them called Eden, where they took care of all the plants and animals. God looked at the people he created and he said they were very good. God had created lots of things and he called them all good. But when he got to humans, he called us very good. Wow. God is a great artist. Can you believe he made all that? God made people in his image. That's us too. We are made in God's image, which means we can show what he is like. He created us to be able to reflect his love and character and be able to worship him. Make sure you tune in next time to find out what happens when all this perfect, amazing creation gets messed up by some bad choices. Until then, don't forget, God made us in his image.